Good morning. We're going to do our circle time this morning, and we're going to start off first by doing our song. Then we're going to count our numbers, and then we're going to do our calendar, and we're going to review what we've learned about the butterfly this week. And then I have a story that I'm going to read for you this morning. So let's start off by doing our song. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. One, two, one, two, three. Good morning. Good morning. Hello and how are you? Early in the morning. I say good morning. Hello and how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Hello and how are you? Early in the morning, I say good morning, hello and how are you? In the morning, I clap my hands in the morning, I do my dance in the morning, I shout hooray, this is gonna be a wonderful day. Good morning, good morning, hello and how are you? Early in the morning, I say good morning, hello and how are you? Good morning, good morning, hello and how are you? Early in the morning, I say good morning, hello and how are you? In the morning, I clap my hands in the morning. I do my dance in the morning. I shout hooray. This is gonna be a wonderful day. Good morning. Good morning. Hello and how are you? Early in the morning. I say good morning. Hello and how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Hello and how are you? Early in the morning, I say good morning. Hello and how are you? Hello and how are you? Hello and how are you? Thanks for singing that song with me. I really like that song a lot. So next, what we are going to do is we are going to count our numbers up here on the number chart, the calendar up here. So we have a lot of numbers. Yesterday, we counted all the way to 23. So let's count. We have one more number that we are putting up today. So count with me. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. And one more makes 24. Wow, that is so many numbers. I hope you were able to count all the way with me to 24. Okay, next we're going to do our weather. I wonder what kind of weather we have outside today. Is it going to be a hot day? Is it going to be cold? Let's see. Let's do our weather song. Let's do our weather song, and we will see, we'll look outside to see what it's going to be like today. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it windy? Or is there rain? What's the 
weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it windy? Or is there rain? Let's look outside and see what the weather is going to be like today. Just look out the window here. And it looks like it's pretty sunny outside. I think it's supposed to be pretty hot today. So we're going to come back over here. But look outside the window at your house and see what you see. Does it look like the sun is out? Are there clouds in the sky? Over here, it just looks like the sun is out. I did not really see clouds. So I'm going to move this up. So what's the weather today? It is sunny. Thanks for doing the weather chart with me. So we did our song. We did our number counting. We did our weather. So next we're just going to go over our butterfly. We learned a lot about the butterfly this week. We learned about their characteristics. We learned about their life cycle. We learned about their diet. And then yesterday we talked about their habitat. Who remembers what the habitat is? It's where they live. Okay, so let's go over what we learned. Let's review what we learned. So, we learned that the butterfly has wings that help them to fly. We learned that they have legs. And who remembers how many legs they have? That's right, they have six legs. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, six legs, and then they have two antennas, one, two, and then they also have the proboscis, which helps them to eat. They get the nectar from the flowers, and then they have a head with two eyes. Their eyes are kind of big in that picture, and then we learned about their life cycle. We learned that first, the butterfly lays eggs on a leaf and then the eggs hatch and what comes out? A caterpillar. A caterpillar comes out and then the caterpillar eats a lot of food. They eat leaves, they munch munch and they crunch crunch on those leaves and then they build a chrysalis and they stay inside that for a long time until they're ready to come out and they are a beautiful butterfly. And then we learned about their diet. We learned that they like flowers and that they get to eat the nectar from the flowers. They drink it with that proboscis that they have. And then yesterday we learned where they live. They live in a lot of places like grassy fields or in the forest, in the trees. They like that also. They can be found all over. Sometimes when you're outside, you might see butterflies. I've seen a few around. So when you're outside, look around and see if you can see butterflies. Okay, now that we've reviewed the butterflies, I have a story that we are going to read this morning. I'm just going to come over here. And this story is called the Itsy Bitsy Spider. And it's written by Kate Toms. She's the author of the book. Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. So itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. But why does itsy climb the spout? In case you are in any doubt, because he spun his web up high, so he can see the world go by. It's easy dropping to the floor, but climbing up is quite a chore. It's 
Bitsy Bitsy Spider doesn't like the rain. He's got his swimming goggles on. He won't get caught again. But just as he starts climbing up the water spout, another shower of rain falls down and washes Ipsy out. Now, Itsy's trying once again with his umbrella ready. The rain won't beat him this time if he takes it nice and steady. There has to be another way to get home on a rainy day. Looking around, what's Itsy seen? A rounded, bouncy trampoline. He's found a way to get home fast but bounces high and flies straight past. Over the hedge, over the wall, a blue striped tent breaks his fall. Looking puzzled, Itsy thinks. He rubs his hairy head and blinks. Where am I now? The wash is drying, the weather is fine. Itsy wobbles on the line when suddenly a breezy breeze blows Itsy to some nearby trees. Through the leaves, Itsy spies several pairs of beady eyes, but worse than that, Itsy squeaks. Arg! A row of long and pointy beaks! Itsy's running all puffed out, but in the distance sees the spout. It's the best idea he's had all day. He'll climb the spout another way. The rain comes down inside the spout, so he'll climb up, not in, but out. Back in his web, he's happy now. It's easy when you've worked out how. The lesson learned, don't wear a frown, even when the rain comes down. Home at last. So Itsy Bitsy Spider can climb the water spout, and even if the rain pours down, it can't wash Itsy out. For Itsy Bitsy Spider has found another way, and now it's really easy to climb the spout all day. The end. I hope that you have enjoyed our circle time this morning. I will see you next time.